Hello everyone, Ren here and today I am going to be talking about books that I think are really good to read in the autumn time, fall time. I just think some books you just sort of need this time of year and I know that it is now well into October so autumn did start a while ago but better late than ever, right? I have books that I read around this time or thought were really good for this time. Obviously there are so many others and so many other books that do fit the bill to be read in the autumn time but these are just ones that I think are really really good. I have a mix of thrillery psychological ones uh, and kind of creepy ones to fit Halloween but then I also have some other ones that are kind of back to schooly that I think are also really good around this time when sort of the weather starts to change you can kind of feel it in that book and it has that kind of cosy vibe to it. So the first one is a thriller and it is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. Not just Gone Girl, Dark Places and Sharp Objects are her other two books that are right at the bottom of my shelf and I couldn't pull them out without all the other books falling. Gillian Flynn's books are really 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 good. I read Dark Places last year around this time and it was just really really fitting for when the weather started to change, it started to get darker and the kind of Halloween vibes. They are all psychological thrillers. This one is about a man whose wife goes missing. Dark Places is about a, about a woman who when she was younger thought she witnessed her brother murder her entire family and he is now in prison for that murder and she was the only one that escaped and now she's older she's really thinking did he actually do it and was it him and there's lots going on around that. Sharp Objects is about a woman who is investigating these girls that have gone missing. They're all very creepy you never really know who's who, who's done what, what's happening and I think that they're really really cool this time of year because they have that kind of thrillery creepy feel to them but also that plays with your head and just completely messes with you and makes you wonder who is who can be trusted and what's really going on so I think they're really really good for this time of year. Another honorary mention that kind of fits that bill as well is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins which is about a girl called Rachel who I'm sure everyone knows it's massive it's a big movie at the moment but it's about a girl called Rachel who takes the same commuter train every single day and as she does that she witnesses this family in a house um, and because she goes past them all the time and usually stops at that spot she feels like she starts to know them then she kind of gets wrapped up in this murder missing person inquiry and again it plays on your head and you don't know who you can trust and what's going on and I just think it's a really really good one. Then we have Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. The reason why I chose this one this time of year is because this book is about a girl called Anna and she's from America but she goes to the School of America in Paris for her final year of high school. She can't speak French so she has to learn the country and the culture and the language and it's the people she meets and the experiences that she has. The thing I really liked about this though is it does because it has that kind of back to school vibe to it the weather is starting to change and Paris in the autumn time and the winter time is so 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 lovely. Last year when I was in Paris for the winter time and the way it just looked it really helped when I then read this in January to kind of picture that scene and how it was changing and I think that in the autumn time which you definitely get the vibes from in this as well would be really 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 good and I just kind of love that back to school scene and that back to school vibe and when things start to get cozy and it starts to get darker and the leaves start to change I think that it's a really really good one. Then we have The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. This is a series, this is the first one of the series, it's one of my most favourite series of all time. I think it's a really really good one to read it around this time of year. It's about a girl called Mara who witnesses a really horrible event and loses her friends in that event and her friends have, have died and she moves to town and lots of weird things happen she doesn't know what's real what's really happening who's involved and who's causing these things to happen it is a massive psychological thriller it really plays on your head you don't know who can trust what's real she feels like she's going mad and she doesn't know what's real and what's really happening to her and you as the reader really feel like that as well it's perfect for this time of year especially coming up to Halloween because it is really creepy and really weird and you never really know what's going on then we have Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell which is another book that I talk about so much but I think it's really really perfect for this time of year it feels really weird to me this is my first year not going into some form of academic study in September uh, and not being back at school this time of year. I've been in school since I was four and then I went to do my A-levels and then I went to do a three-year degree at university and now I have graduated. This is the first year that I haven't done that and it feels really weird because I always associate this time of year with back to school vibes and autumnal vibes are correlated with back to school and studying and getting back from school when it's starting to get darker and the leaves are changing and that cold air on your first day back at school and that kind of thing and I always always associate it with this. So Fangirl very much has that. It's about a girl called Kath who is starting her first year of college in America and she is you know it's meeting her new roommates and school and studying and all that I sort of feel encompasses 
that time of year and this time of year so it was it's really really nice to kind of see that I'm thinking of rereading this book because I want to feel those vibes I just really really love studying and school and learning and just doing as much as I can even in my spare time so I really like this and I love that kind of back to school feeling that you get when reading this book as the weather starts to change like new experiences and new environments and I think it's really really cool. I love this book so much I think it's really really good and it's definitely good for this time of year when you do have those kind of back to school and like studying cozy night vibes. And the last one I want to talk about is also another series and it is the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series. This book is massive this year you know it just become a film that Tim Burton directed and it's very very big but I really really like this because it, again it's very very creepy. It's about a guy called Jacob. They've always just kind of assumed that his granddad was a bit mad and the stories that he would tell him were not real but actually when he does a bit of investigating after his granddad unfortunately passes away he finds out that maybe there is a bit of truth to them and he finds these people who are peculiar and they live in this peculiar time loop thing and there's a bit they're a bit odd and a bit weird the loop is in wales uh in cairnhome i don't live too far away from wales i've been to wales quite often and i like it i don't know why i don't know but i sort of always associate it with kind of like um nature and that kind of thing so i always sort of picture it as a this time of year it definitely has those kind of spooky halloweeny vibes to it and the kind of creepiness and the whole kind of story and what it encompasses is definitely good for this time of year I think. It's a, a lot darker, lots happens in it, lots of things happen to the characters and they experience lots of different things. I definitely think it is a more autumn-y time of year book rather than something that you would read that's light and fluffy in the summertime. I think it definitely fits this time of year. It's good, I like it. And finally, the Abandoned series by Meg Cabot. This series is about a girl who flatlines and dies, and while she is in the world in between life and death and figuring out where she's going to go next, she meets John Hayden, and John Hayden is pretty much death himself, and she says, actually, no, I don't want to die, I want to go back, and then she comes back into life, but he follows her because he's like, you're not going to escape me, like, you're not going to outwit death like you you need to die that was your time to die what are you doing what is happening but then lots of weird things start to happen in her actual life and weird things happen and it's very 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 halloweeny full-time vibes to it like i really really felt like when i was reading it i could picture sort of a town where you know it was getting darker and it was kind of very halloweeny settings and spooky settings and kind of halloween festivities and the celebrations and it was just a book that i felt really really encompassed those creepy halloweeny feelings and i really really liked it it's one of my favorite series i think it's really really good for this time of year i don't imagine reading it at any other time of year it would fit as well it's definitely a book that you want to say with miss peregrine's really i think it's a book you kind of snuggle down with when it's sort of getting darker outside and it's a bit spookier and sort of Halloween is building and that anticipation for Halloween is building. The thing I really, really like about Fall is that it does give you time to kind of come home, chill out, relax, have a nice hot drink, get into snuggly pyjamas and just sit and read and there's definitely a different reading vibe this time of year. There's definitely different books that I like to read this time of year than I do during the springtime or the summertime because just the environment feels different, the weather is different, outside is different and kind of my mental state and how I perceive what's going on is a lot different so I really like to kind of have those books that do have those different vibes to them. So those are just some of the books that I think are really really good for the autumn time and I would love to know your recommendations as well. What books do you love to read this time of year? And if you are new here I make bookish videos a couple of times a week so if you would like to stick around and join us then you can do that. And as usual all my links will be in the description below so if you would like to come hang out with me on other social media then you can also do that as well. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you're doing really really well and I will see you next time. Goodbye! Thank you.